Hello everyone, Ken Heatley here from the Weather Channel. Uh, a few people have been commenting and saying they'd love to know more about what happens behind the scenes here at the Weather Channel. And I thought I'd just do a quick overview about how we do our graphics for the TV. So all the weather graphics that you see, all the maps and satellites and radars are all generated by this one program called Weatherscape. It's what we use every single day in pretty much every single report. And this is one of the computers that actually drives it. And what we do is we load up shows now this is for our lives that we do at the top and bottom of the hour and this is one that we've been working on it we've got a lot of dry weather across the nation this is our timeline uh, that we see down here and these are individual scenes which we actually load up into the show so once we know what we want to talk about what area we want to talk about uh, we basically load up individual scenes and we can do that uh, uh, by basically accessing a database of previously made scenes. So uh, all the graphics, all the terrain and everything is pretty much pre-made, but what we have to do is add what we want. So whether we want to talk about the radar or the rain falling or the temperature or anything like that, that we have to overlap on top of the terrain that we're seeing at the moment. So zoom in here and I'll show you what I mean. So this is a Victorian uh, satellite. So if I wanted to talk about Victoria, I'd be rolling this and I'd be talking on top of it. So I'll show you what I mean here. It's showing up on this screen, uh, which is what we look off to the side, and you can see them over here at the front of the studio. And so I stand here, and basically I'm looking at these screens, and that's how I know that where I'm standing, and I can also see myself over there. Now if I want to load up another scene and talk about, say, the wind that's happening in Victoria at the moment, what I do is I say import and then I access our database uh, and I go to where I know it is uh, in here and I basically say, okay, wind and rain, Victoria wind and rain, it imports it for me and this is looking at the forecast and if I play that through, it shows the wind particles here, our fronts moving in, which will be happening Friday, Saturday, and you can see that rain pushing across. So that's how simple it is, but generating all the data and graphics for these programs initially is not that simple. But for us presenters trying to present a show here at the Weather Channel, that's how simple it is. We upload scenes into already pre-made shows, and that's what you see on the Weather Channel every single day. If you'd like to know anything more about what happens behind the scenes here at the Weather Channel, make sure you leave us a comment on the Facebook page or get in touch with us at Twitter.